early peoples and kingdoms of Ireland, the three kingdoms labelled Carbra may perhaps represent the remains of Coriper's conquests in the Midlands Coriper MacNail. Also Carbra or Carper, was said to be a son of Neil of the Nine Hostages. Coriper was perhaps the leader of the conquests that established the southern Enail in the Midlands of Ireland. The record of the Irish annals suggests that Coriper's successes were reattributed to Muirshire Tok Macurki. Coriper is portrayed as an enemy of St. Patrick in Bishop Tyrkin's hagiography and his descendants are said to have been cursed by Patrick so that none would be High King of Ireland. Coriper is excluded from most lists of High Kings, but included in the earliest. In later times Coriper's descendants, the Senel Coripri, ruled over three small kingdoms, Carbra Drum Clive in North Company. Sligo, an area in modern County Longford and at the headwaters of the River Boyne, which may be the remains of a once much larger kingdom stretching 100 miles from Donegal Bay to the Boyne. The Enail, the grandsons, or descendants, of Neil of the Nine Hostages, dominated the northern half of Ireland from the 7th century, and perhaps earlier. The various Enail kingdoms, their allies, client kingdoms and subject tribes, comprised most of the province of Ulster, all of Connaught, and a large part of Leinster. Elaborate genealogies showed the descent of the various Enail, while allies and favoured clients descended from Neil's brothers or other kinsmen. Along with the dominant southern kindred, the Oganocta of Munster, all these were members of the Connacta, the descendants of Khan of the Hundred Battles. However, since Enail means grandsons of Neil, the Enail cannot have existed before the time of Neil's grandsons, towards the middle of the 6th century. Medieval genealogists provided Neil with a large number of sons, some of very doubtful historicity. Main, ancestor of the Senelmini is generally presumed to be a late addition. The dates claimed for Loigair MacNeil, great pagan emperor of the Irish and adversary of St. Patrick in Murshu and Tarkin's 7th century lives, may make him an unlikely son of Neil. Diarmut Mac Surbale, apical ancestor of the Sil Nido Slania and Clon Colmain, the leading southern branches of the E Nail, is presented in the genealogies as the grandson of Neil's son Connell Crinkthan, but this is doubtful. As for Coiper, he is called a son of Neil in one of the earliest surviving sources, Tyrkin's Life of St. Patrick. Medieval Irish traditions claim that the lands of the e Nail were conquered by Neil of the Nine Hostages and his sons, together with their allies. Coiper may have led some of the earliest recorded e Nail conquests in the Midlands. The annals appear to show that a number of victories, by Coiper and others, or by persons unnamed, were later attributed to Macurki, or to Mirshir Tok Mac Mordeig, who may be the same person. From northwest to southeast, there were two kingdoms named for Coriper MacNeil in early historical times. These were Senel Coripi Drama Clyab, North Sligo on Donegal Bay, and Senel Coripri Moor, the northern half of Tethby around Granard in modern County Longford. This alignment of territories may suggest that the Kingdom of Coriper and its satellites once extended over 100 miles across Ireland. A third Senel Coripri, the region around Carberry and the headwaters of the River Boyne in the northwest of County Kildare, is of much later origins. In a year given as 485, Coriper was credited with a victory at Grainer, perhaps modern Granard, where the chief church of Senel Coriper more of Tedby was in later times. In the addition, which notes that the battle was won by Macurki as some say, the annal adds that Fincath Macgurchu of the Dal Messincorb, perhaps King of Leinster, was killed there. A second battle at Grainard is recorded under the year 495, repeated under 497, and here Finkath's son Froyak is said to have been killed by Coiper's son Iachu. Under the year 494, duplicated under 496, the annals record a victory by Coiper over the Leinstermen at Tailtiu, in later times site of an important Enich, the Enich Tailton. Two further victories are reported, one under 497 at Slamane of Mead, probably near modern Mullingar, County Westmeath, and one under 499 at Sendaild, perhaps somewhere in modern County Carlow. Senel Coiper were associated with both Tail to You and Granard in the earliest writings, but there is nothing in the annals to explain an early link with Carberry which could be as late as the 12th century. While the annals cannot be relied upon at such an early date, the core of their account, a war between Coiper and his sons and Fincath and his sons, as well as the association with Tail to You and Granard, while a tradition, is likely to be one. Byrne, however, raises a note of caution, it is true, however, that the names of Coiper, Fiashu, Maine and Loigair continue to be used in later centuries simply to denote the kingdoms or dynasties descended from those sons of Neil. Just as we find the names Benjamin, 
Dan or Judah similarly used in the Bible. Late writings of doubtful reliability say that Koripur's mother was Rignaching in Medeab. His son Iachu appears in the annals, but not in the most comprehensive genealogical collection. Another son, Cormac, is said to be Twathel Melgarb's father Cormac Siege, although Tyrkin's account of St. Patrick cursing Koyapur's descendants may make this a late addition. A third son, Cal, is a spurious late addition. Apart from Koyapur himself and his putative grandson Twathel Melgarb, no king of Senel Koyapri is included in later lists of high kings of Ireland. Later kings of Senel Koyapri are mentioned in the annals of Ulster and other Irish annals with some frequency, although usually only to report their deaths. In earlier historical times, Senel Koyapri may have been of sufficient importance to attract the attention of largely hostile writers. Tyrkin's Life of Patrick states that Koyapur was cursed by the saint, at tale to you, so that none of his descendants would be high king. The obvious omission, an explanation for the rule of Twathel Melgarb, was corrected by later hagiographers. In the earliest surviving list, that in the Baile Chind, Twathel appears not under his own name but as the Kenning Engarb. Twathel Melgarb is portrayed in a poor light by later writers dealing with the life of Diarmit Max Surbale. Diarmit's descendants, Clan Colnane and the Silnido Slanya, probably replaced the kindreds of Koyapur and Fiashu as the dominant families of the Irish Midlands. Koyapur himself, while excluded from later synthetic lists of kings of Terra or High Kings of Ireland, is included in the early Baile Chind, coming between Loigare and Legade. Thanks for watching.